Are you overwhelmed by debt? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a debt snowball calculator in Google Sheets to figure out your debt payoff date and also how to use it to figure out your smallest debt amount so that you can use the debt snowball method to pay off debt. Hi, it's Fanny of Living Rich on a Budget. I help busy people save money and cook more at home. So let's get started. This is a debt snowball calculator. And what this does is it's going to help you calculate your debt in order from smallest to the largest so that you can gain momentum by paying off the smaller debt first. If you remember Dave Ramsey, he teaches about that. And by paying off the smallest debt first, you'll be able to just move forward and feel like you have a win and keep going. So first thing I want you to do is enter your date here. So enter the start date. So you can enter whatever date it is today. And then you can enter your currency. And then in the section called debt information, I want you to put in your your debt name or the credit card name. And then you can go up to 15 pieces of debt and also put in a balance, the annual interest, the minimum payment. And what this does is gonna automatically put the cards in order of the smallest to the largest. So when I go here, debt number one is actually gonna be the smallest. So card right now, card number two is the smallest amount. So the first debt is gonna be the smallest amount. And this is the one you're gonna focus on paying off first. And so you have, this is already auto generated, this information here. So this is it's like saying you're gonna pay the minimum payment 200 here, the interest and the balance. Um, it gives you a payoff date. So you'll pay this off in April, 2026. When you start in June, 2025. So in each, new tab the next one is the next highest debt and if you want to change like how much you want to pay the minimum payment you can enter it here all these are already like calculation there's formulas in tied to this so you make all your changes on this first tab the debt snowball calculator tab you make it here and what it does is um so it's putting in order here the smallest to largest it tells you the payoff date here and how many months it takes. Also, here's a total number of months for all the debt to get paid off. And you have a graph showing the percentage of how much debt is left on each card. I find this very helpful just to see everything in one place so you can get an idea of what's going on. It's better to know what's happening with uh, your debt versus like being in the dark. When you're like, if you're not paying attention to this, then you never know when it's going to get paid off. So you don't have any like idea when it's going to be paid off. But when you have a payoff date, it kind of gives you like positive energy, momentum to like you're going to be able to pay it off one day and what the actual date is. So this is very helpful and motivating. And if you want to add more money to paying off um, the minimum amount. So first, this was April 2026. And now when you add an extra 100 a month to 300, then it became December 2025. So you'll be able to pay it off in six months. So you can see, you can play with these numbers and then you can see like how much faster you can pay off something. It's also like another planning tool. Like say you have like a windfall or you got a raise or you're earning extra money. You can see which card is worth paying off. Um, I mean, how much more time is left. I can even say if I did 500, it paid off in four months. So it's very helpful that everything is auto calculated. So when I go here, it shows me all the information of card number two, which is the lowest debt amount, the initial balance, to how much of the debt of your total debt, how much of 20% of your total debt, and how many months it takes to pay off if I was paying like 500 a month. And then you have 15 tabs. So you have 15 debts that you can add enter in here. Dealing, actually dealing with your debt versus like pushing it aside and, and ignoring it. It's actually so much better to be aware of what, how much debt you have and um, how much is each one and how, when it, how long it's going to take to pay it off. It's actually eye-opening and once you make a plan towards it, you'll actually more likely to pay off something versus like just 
paying a minimum amount and not paying attention to it. So once you start paying attention to something, you'll be able to reach your goal. You can find the debt snowball calculator in the link in the description below. Also check out my other Google Sheets on budgeting and saving money. Don't forget to check out my other Google Sheets videos. I have one on how to plan your next vacation and stay under budget using a travel budget planner. Also have another one on how to calculate your grocery budget. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. See you next time. Bye.